Hello, welcome to Stack, a ongoing video series where I show you my current bookshelf in a way. Now today is the first episode of Stack where I actually have a bookshelf before I just showed you a stack of books. So on our shelf today, I will go through each book and describe it to you. Now my stack is a little bit different from a normal bookshelf. On this bookshelf, I keep books that I haven't read, not the other way around. The first book, I don't know what it is yet. I'll turn around and look. Uh, engineering Drawing. I got this book because I can't draw. And I'm never going to read this book because I also can't draw. It was pretty cool because it's freaking old. It, it's... It's old. Uh, copyright 1929. Actually, I think that's the year the Titanic sank. A manual of engineering drawing for students and draftsmen by French, M E D S C, whatever that means. And uh, there's copyright 1929. McGraw Hill. They still make my textbooks. But it has a lot of, it tells you all you need to know about drawing and engineering. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. Oh, yeah. Presidential Papers book, something out of National Treasure 2. Some, something moved back there. But this book is really cool because it has real, uh, it has real, like, paper and ink drawings on here. And then, like, in between, this is, like, some kind of really thin, like, rice paper or something. And, uh, actually, if you look, it says, published by Authority of Congress, 1900, the copyright is uh copyright 1897 the first reason why i love this book right off the bat is the fascination with information that can be held in such form i mean look at this this is gold leafing that's probably real gold because they didn't invent synthetic fiber gold by then I'm uh, somewhat humorously using a fried chicken coupon as a bookmark. Uh, but, wow, man. That, it, it, I'm, sh when, it, when this was printed, I think it's pretty high quality book printed. I mean, the gold leafing, the gold leafing is one of the signature touches they put on books that the, uh, spent some time and care publishing it, I think. And this just the fact that this book is 110 years old is amazing to me, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's still here. It's completely... None of the information has been damaged. It's in perfect condition if you look at it in that way. I mean, I don't think it's been... I think I've, I might have been the person that read this the most. Because I've read a lot of this, and I'll talk about. I might talk about this in another video since I don't want to take up too much time. Here's another two. Yeah. Oh my god! I just ripped one. These books are really old. That presidential book actually caught my fingernail on it, and I literally scratched off part of the book, like the spine, like. It came off as powder, you know. I mean, these, these are old, but, oh man, I just, just took a piece off that one. Soviet Civilization. This book's interesting because every number in here is followed by a bunch of zeros. I mean, whatever you look at, 7,000, you know. The Library of Congress estimated the Second World War cost mankind approximately 4 million 
no, $4 trillion and $40 million in human casualties. The U.S. alone spent $351 billion initially, but the ultimate expense, including interest, pensions, bonuses, and so on, will come out to about $1.4 million, billion, quadrillion. All the numbers in here are completely exaggerated. I don't know where he used the sources for, but I haven't read it yet. That's just what I got. It's got some interesting maps in here, like a new Soviet tree planting and, and hydraulic projects. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Also got educating gifted children. Ooh. It's uh, about different different research in educating gifted children. Haven't read it yet. Should be a good, interesting thing to read. I found a holy book in a Mayan pyramid over 2,000 years old. This is it. Actually, uh, it's a Bible. It looks like it's been through a fire and a flood. I mean, man. Wow. I mean, let's see, I've actually I printed 1841. New Testament, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, translated out of the original Greek. Well, with the former translations diligently compared and revised, New York American Bible Society Associated New York in the year 1816. Holy freaking Christ. Oh man, the paper clips in here, they are the oldest paper clips I've ever seen. They're completely corroded into white and black and here, I don't want, I don't want to try and show you to it because the book might literally just crack in half. I mean, sorry, but wow. I don't know, maybe some of these books are going to be worth something, or maybe they're just old and not worth anything, but there's that. And maybe this last one, since I'm running out of time here, this is actually a... Uh, any, anybody out there collect stamps? I uh, forgot the word for people that collect stamps, but this is a book of over 300 Soviet stamps. I don't know if this is worth anything, but all the stamps are in excellent condition. And they're all from, uh, I mean, wow. It's, it's all, all the text is in Cyrillic, if I say that word right. Maybe, I'm probably not, I just read it, but. I mean, uh, here. I'll show you, take a look at one of these. Like, here, here are all the cosmonaut theme stamps, like, some of them. You know, there's people around here. Uh, interesting, I don't know. But the Soviets, they're all Soviet stamps. I don't know what else to say. I can't read any of these things. I, uh, I mean, there's, there's transportation, there's boats and submarines and statues and kids and... There's Lenin and Stalin and people or something. Hmm. See, this guy is on a lot of stamps. See? So, uh, I don't know what to say about that, but that's pretty interesting, I guess. And I think that's, I think we're all out of time today, kids. Eat your broccoli.